black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah. Yo, what up world? What's good with y'all? Welcome to this installment of Hitting Up the Hut for one last time before it's all locked down and everybody's on the quarantine. Okay, so it's my favorite. We know this. If we've been here long enough, we know that I love Pizza Hut and uh, I just want to get one last one in before I can't. Okay, so we must get into this magnifico creation right about meow. So let's pop the top and see what we're working with. I'll give you the viewer's choice angle. Dun, 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 dun. Looking banger or what? I don't know. I can't tell yet. We'll see. Ooh, hello you. Hello beautiful. <laughs> hello beautiful. A mukbanger's pro move. Drop your walls. Drop the guard. And slide around out. Quick escape. Quick escape. You guys know me. I got sauces on deck. I got the runny ranch. And I made myself like a medium buffalo style sauce for this. And of course, before we do anything more, we must ba -ba 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 pour. We got the iceberg on deck. And we have our favorite friend, the doctor, the Peppa. So we're going to crack attack that boy real quick. And while we're pouring that, I want to bring attention to saying thank you to those who have purchased with the coldest water back here this is the 21 ouncer that i'm rocking that's my favorite kind of kind of size very you know life friendly fitting in your gym bag fitting in the car cup holder doing things for you that other water bottles just can't you know what i mean keeping your water glacial or any other fluids up to 36 hours do you know what i mean so I just want to say a big shout out to all of you who have actually gone through and shop with them because when you do that, I do get kickbacks and that helps me in my life. So I'm very, very grateful and very, very thankful to you. If you feel so inclined to do the same as other people who have done so, you can go down below in the description and there are two links. One gets you 10% off your entire order. The other is to enter into a giveaway to get a free bottle because they give away bottles every week. So let's hit this, then let's hit this and have a good old time. That tastes like the world is coming to an end. As we know it. Okay. You guys know, I just I gotta eat. I gotta get to the hot pie. You know what I mean? This is looking like the hit for me. Um, I will explain what's on here I got a half and half situation so this is the ten dollar pizza of the day online that was a deal um, it was Canadian so Canadian is pepperoni bacon and mushrooms and I just made it so that half was Canadian and half was pepperoni so this side has the bacon and mushrooms it seems like they didn't put the pepperoni on the whole thing like I wanted but it doesn't really matter to me I just definitely wanted to have one side Pepperoni, pepperoni West by itself. And we got the runny, runny ranch today. So we go. Is it bliss? Oh, yes. Amazing. I was looking at a wing deal with a pizza, but I wanted to keep the focus on the pie. Also, <clears throat> I have wings in the fridge that I'm going to use tomorrow, so I felt weird ordering wings, knowing that I have those. <clears throat> Alright, let's go for the straight up pepperoni into the 
medium style sauce. If you want to know how to make that, I'll tell you right now. Ketchup, barbecue, and a dash of <clears throat> any hot sauce. I put buffalo. Frank's buffalo. The ketchup and the barbecue give it vinegary sweet. The barbecue gives it depth of flavor, spices, things like that. Buffalo just gives it a little heat. And Bob's your uncle. It's amazing. Highly recommend you spinning up a batch. I gotta tell you, man, <clears throat> the hut is such a treat. Those bacon chunks flying everywhere. We gotta do the crossbreed. You know I had to cross cross dip. Cross contaminate. In the most delicious way possible. been a good long while since I've had anything but pepperoni and cheese on pizza. I don't love to overcomplicate my pies. But I do like bacon. And I love mushrooms, so can't go wrong. I gotta say, that's a pretty good deal. Ten bucks. Uh, with delivery, everything, it was. 17 at the door and then I tipped the dude five bucks So, you know before tax for 17 bucks delivered We still can get an economical pie I thought those days were long gone I also just lucked out that the pizza of today was a good a good pie And I'm pretty sure my driver was stoned as shit. <laughs> Which is fine. Do your thing, buddy. But we did the transaction. And the receipt was printing. I handed him the machine back. And he turned around, around to leave. And he hadn't given me the pizza yet. And I was like, yo, bro, I need the pizza. And he was like, it's like, I just woke up. I just started my shift. Wakey bakey, yeah. Huh? I see you, bro. 
I used to live that way in Bake Life. <clears throat> to be honest, I hated waking and baking. Usually. Back when I smoked, I felt like it just turned me to a zombie like immediately. And then the rest of the day, it was just an absolute write off. Get, you get burnt out, get your headache. Next thing you know, you just want to nap. I knew some people who could fully function though. Wake up, they would get baked, they'd like work out. about their day and just kind of maintain you know hit a hit here hit a hit there just kind of maintain throughout the day I never could do that <clears throat> just like I am the world's worst day drinker like I am not the guy that you take on like a Mexico trip and you just like get crushed all day on the beach with the boys like I have some day drinks. I'm toasted in a few hours, especially if the sun's out. You kidding me? I'll be napping early. I actually had a rule in place. Even still to this day, I have it in place. But throughout most of my drinking career, I have a rule that I can't pour my first drink until the sun goes down. I'm just that much of a night night person. If I'm drinking and it's dark out, I can like get into the energy. I can get into the the vibe of like I can keep it going, you know what I mean? I can go for hours if it's nighttime. I can go all night. I don't know how people go on like all inclusives. And just crush in the sun. This fair weather <coughs> skin was not designed for that lifestyle. Pizza Hut always never fails. They always have a, a baby piece somewhere along the way. I like them though. They remind me of the Pizza Hut buffet. Uh, they always had like the little baby slices that you could just crush. Very nostalgic. Man, nothing can duplicate. The 
flavors of, of, of pizza Hut. there's something so special special about their sauce whatever herbs and spices they use their cheese the way the pepperoni crisps this dough it's just different I was a medium pie by the way it's my favorite thing to order because I just know it's not gonna go to waste I can confidently eat a whole medium and like be pretty much perfect uh, although pizza does keep you know what I mean like if you finish like if you have a large or an extra large or whatever you can snack on it through the night you know what I mean so but I don't know I just like to have it hot fresh right there crush it and be done so I loved it. Hope you guys did too. Until the next one, you know what to do. Eat good, live well, stay true.